Hey y'all, so it's been a very, very slow day. Uh, well, not much besides actually getting out the house. We haven't really been out. Uh, but, ah, uh, you just threw my glasses. Uh, we just pretty much been catching up on the vlogs and blogs and all the content from California when we went to San Diego. If you haven't seen that yet, uh, you can see that at the end of this video or I could put it in the description below so you can find it there. Uh, but I want to show you what Mila just did. She grabbed a pan and like roll all over her leg and yeah so she picks up all these things and it's crazy so. hey, mommy, 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 mommy. and as you guys saw at the dog park vlog the the previous vlog um camila is cute and everything a lot of, most of the time she's a very good baby but uh of course, there are those little moments when she definitely acts up and stuff. Hey, so, uh, it's crazy. And you guys saw a little bit of that in that previous vlog. And it's happy. It's just part of the normal thing and just learning. And like, yeah, it gets frustrating. It can be. Over time, you learn to overcome that. And uh, it's just part of enjoying that. You know, we did that to our parents, you know, growing up. And now they're doing that to us. It's just circle of life, you know. As you guys noticed in that previous vlog, it was short. But... I need to get in that, into that rhythm of getting a vlog out every day. You know, I had promised you guys that I was going to vlog every day to show you guys what our life was as social media influencers and working from home and uh, I wasn't doing that every day. Ideally, I would like to uh, put out a video every single day, you know, so uh, whether I'm uh, traveling or here. I kind of wanted to go for a run before it gets too dark. It's already kind of dark, but I have really been off that, uh, that workout grind. And I need to go back to the gym. Basically spring already. And we need to get into that groove, y'all. We just finished with dinner. And it's currently looking for songs for the vlogs and for the YouTube channel. And uh, honestly, I think that has to be like the most time consuming part of, uh, of the editing process behind the blog and uh, the YouTube. The blog doesn't need music. You know, it's more like the written content and more of the pictures and photography. But the vlog is all about video, you know, and, and the music and how you put that together. That's something that I want to be better at. And I feel like uh, we were actually looking at one, one of our first vlogs the other day and it was pretty cringy. Uh, actually, it, just, it wasn't even like the first vlog. Well, that too, but our first video that we posted on, uh, on YouTube. And it was pretty cringy, and uh, I'll just post it down below just for the heck of it. But even though it was the like most cr the cringiest video for us, uh, it it's like our most watched video as well. So I don't I don't know I don't know. I I'll post it down below. You guys can check that out. I search a lot through SoundCloud, and uh, sometimes I'm lucky, sometimes I'm not. And you gotta keep looking and stuff. So if anyone knows or anyone has music, uh, shoot it down in the comment section below. All right, so. I had no luck finding music. Obviously, as you can tell, it's actually uh, the next day. Uh, I actually fell asleep. It was late, and uh, it was just like, dude, like <clears throat> I was tired. So um, a couple weeks ago, I kind of set uh, a rule, a personal rule of mine, to not work past 12 o'clock, which I'm really bad at that. I just tend to overwork. Um, so I, I, I just pretty much stop at 12 o'clock and uh, just do whatever. And I just kind of pretty much try to finish what I had to do that day, try to finish it by then. Which usually, I, the editing is really what is kind of like the last thing I do during the day. So I try to, um, depending on the length of the video, if it's like a simple video like this one, I'll just edit it with less than 30 minutes and have it published. You know, if it's a, like a video like a travel vlog, I have so much footage that it actually took me like four or five hours. Uh, so it just very, it varies. but. I try to leave that towards the end of the day, or if I know it's gonna be something really easy, I leave it. Is that one of the first things I do, and then I publish, and then I carry on through the rest of the stuff that I do. Um, <clears throat> things like that, you know, I don't have like an actual set thing I do every day, but I kind of have a, a sort of like structure of how my day typically goes, which, you know, varies. I wake up and I just check emails and stuff, and then we go eat breakfast. I come up here, and then that's kind of when everything really starts, you know, after breakfast. Um, you know, first I start looking through, last as I mentioned, I run through emails again, we keep responding to emails, and then I go through social media and do that. And uh, then I go and check the blog and kind of check all the stats for the previous day, see how everything is following through. Lately, it's been very cloudy here, so we haven't really gone out to do like portraits and photography and stuff. Um, but that's usually what we do. We go out or we go outside and play with the kids and 
we we mix that because we're home and we're with the kids so we uh as parents we we're parents first and social media uh influencers second so uh family since we're here all together all the time which is not normal for a lot of people and you may ask like what it's like uh it it's fun but it's frustrating at the same time because you know we're both clashing all day long you know she has her vision for her blog i have mine and now with the videos i have additional stuff going on that she's not doing on so we're constantly clashing and since our laptop is pretty much down right now uh we have we're working with this one desktop and our phone so it kind of clashes and we have so much stuff to catch up on and that it just kind of like really like it causes a lot of frustration but we get through it we know the cause and the root of the stuff so we know they're not big deals and the things that are bigger issues we take care of you know and uh this kind of brings me to a topic that came up during that 2.0 and that 2.0 and a lot of the dads were saying and uh, a lot of the other youtuber dads were saying that uh, uh when do you draw the line of showing your personal life on social media on youtube and stuff like that and it it really varies for example us like we we said that we're gonna do daily vlogs so i pretty much record the things and uh behind the scenes of what a, a blogger's life or a, a vl blogger vlogger social media influencer's life is like when do you draw the line you know it's really up to you it depends what you want to do for example us uh we don't record every single bit i know some youtube channels like bigger youtube channels do and it's cool we still like to keep certain privacy so you pretty much determine what you want to show and what's the borderline and uh, the second one that goes tied up with this subject is like uh, uh, like how do I know when I'm going too far like in terms of ex like showing my kids on social media you know uh, just for safety and just uh, just precautions it's really up to you for example our daughter we we take her to a lot of blogger events so she in some sort of way has some public recognition you can say oh uh, she just knows a, a, a vast majority of people here in the Houston industry San Antonio and uh, California now and places like that uh, so it just depends you know we're not trying to make her a public figure but because she's our daughter people recognize her one of the things I think is very important is knowing how to differentiate between uh, vlogging and being a social uh, media content creator and your personal life you know some things kind of there's a lot of areas where they both kind of you know they both meet but I feel that it's something that you should uh, consider uh, discussing with your partner or your significant other or if you're a single parent or you're a single person just uh, you can even ask your parents or ask a friend like, hey do you think I'm showing too much of my personal life or what do you think about this if I am if you are showing to uh, not maybe not too much but you're showing parts of your personal life like you know like where should I stop you know it's just areas that you know just kind of set some boundaries and always stay true to what the purpose of your channel is you know for example me uh, I'm a young millennial dad you know so I show my experiences lessons as a millennial dad you know still so being me uh, going out exploring and not missing a single beat of life you know so it's things and also in that I you know I'm, I also do uh, fashion uh, lifestyle and car reviews so the car reviews have turned more into like travel but yeah uh, so you just you just gotta know what your channel is about and kind of do that like and if it's probably too much then just ask someone so you can review it sometimes I feel like I do show a lot on my vlogs and I ask my wife hey what do you think about this and um, and we kind of share a, a discussion or an opinion on if it is or if it's not or I'll share a little more to have more substance and stuff like that so just always uh, be considerate of those around you and example like if I go somewhere I always ask if it's okay if you could record so people are uncomfortable with that and it's always good to ask and be considerate of others around you too but when it comes to personal stuff I think it's good to analyze what you're doing and know <clears throat> where do you want your channel to go as I mentioned I just want to show the behind the scenes of uh, social media uh, content creator blogger vlogger lifestyle you know <clears throat> since both of us are have those titles those job titles and we both work from home with the kids all the time and what is it like so that's what we show yeah so I hope this was in some way give you a little bit of insight on what you should do if that's a conflicting thing hit that like button and uh, I'll see you guys around so I'll see you uh, 
in the next video because we're about to go to the park. So, peace.